Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we'll show you how to delete and rebuild the Windows 10 search index. Very handy if you're having search problems. And while you're there, if you're having search problems, you can actually access the troubleshooter. So it's kind of two birds with one stone. So in order to do that, you want to do your Windows key plus S for search or come down here where your search bar is and just start typing indexing. And when you see indexing options, go ahead and click it. As you can see, there's an advanced button right here. So let's go ahead and click that. And there it is, delete and rebuild index. So when you click rebuild, it will tell you it could take some time. We're talking about a good cup of coffee, a nap, lunchtime. It depends on how many files are on your computer. So go ahead and click OK, and it'll let you know when it is completed. Otherwise, there it goes. So the otherwise, while that's running in the background, Another step, which we originally listed as the first step, because if you're having problems with search, was the troubleshooter. We've moved that to the second step because rather than going to start settings, update security, troubleshooter, or you could go in here and search for troubleshooters and dig your way through it, they would be kind of pointless because it's right here, right before you, right under where you clicked uh, delete and rebuild the index. So you can just click on the troubleshooting. They're pretty easy to do. It will list these, pick one, click next and if it can find a problem it'll fix it if it can't it will let you know they couldn't fix it there you go so indexing is complete so you can go ahead and click close and that is done now another neat way to do this because it's windows and there's always well, there's a lot more than a couple ways i could come up with a couple more but we, we threw together a batch file and this is kind of handy because you can just copy and paste this code in the notepad and save it as reset and rebuild search index.bat or if you're not familiar with them, we've created it and we're going to upload it by the time you get to seeing this video and you'll be able to just double click on it. Let me see where it went here. Here we go. Do you like how that mysteriously appeared? I forgot to drag it over to the virtual machine. All right, so basically what you want to do with this once you have the batch file done and I can show you how it works real quick. Yeah. I'll tell you, I can't click anything today. It's one of the things that I'm just clicking randomly and crap. I don't know what I'm doing. And you thought we were geeks. So we'll go to the desktop. Do, 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 do. Just so you can see it. And as you can see, there's the code. You just save it as, in this case, reset and rebuild. So there's your notepad. You'd copy and paste that code in. And then you would have that file, just as we showed you here. So highlight, right click, copy, put it in the notepad save it as that name right there there you go so now it's very important with a batch file if you double click it you're going to get errors it's usually an error five or something to that effect so you want to right click on it run it as administrator it'll let you know what's going down tell you you're stopping the service much much faster now keep in mind you're watching me on a virtual machine which means i have a clean install of windows there's nothing on here and it took yeah, just a few minutes. But even then, running the batch file went from a few minutes to a few seconds. So imagine what happens if you've got, if you're running up here and you've got an hour worth of work. Just think how much time you could save by running the batch file. So great time killer. Awesome for techs to take with them on the toolbox. Such a simple little batch file. But we're going to add it. And by the time you see this article, which will be again in the YouTube video description, we will have a link here where you, I don't know where I'm going to put it, let me look, I'll put it right up here at the top. So if you want to just jump right to it, you don't want to create your own batch file, you don't know how to do it, you're not in the mood to learn, I'm with you. Just grab, download the batch file, and you'll be able to do exactly what you just saw me do, run as administrator. Cool? All right. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, click like, click subscribe. I think at the end of the video, the little Major Geeks logo pops up right here. Makes it really easy for you to click, uh, I think it's subscribe. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.